Alright. <sighs> Man, really, the main thing is I'm just trying to, you know, get back to the basics. And, uh, it's, it's for you to see what actually goes on without satire this video. You know, real things happen and you don't know, uh, you don't know exactly what goes on. This is daytime badland stuff. I mean, the weather, you're getting stuck at docks, uh, you know, you're trying to, trying to maneuver through ice and snow. You know, I'm trying to get up to the truck stop and hope that um, I can Driving in, in a place that is that is dry. I'm spinning out now, spinning out, spinning out, spinning out. You know, you're trying to keep it all together, but you just gotta watch it, man, because you can wipe out out here. So uh, I need to get up here, I guess. Look at my Doppler. Make sure everything is good. And I gotta head right back into it. I already got another. I have, you know, where I'm at. They're stacking loads. Which is great. Stacking loads is great. It keeps the driver moving. I have no problem with that. But um, in these type of conditions, when you get loads stacked, you know the weather always gets in the way of your stacking action. Like it always does. It does not want you to have that stack moving. Summertime, this wouldn't be an issue. Pop and drop, you know, hit the curb on it, and uh, everybody's happy. at this last place he writes on the paper I'm late dude I've been here since 10 o'clock last night you woke me up at 545 and got me in the door why are you put me I'm because I'm trying to maneuver and get in the door and I, it took longer because the, the truck is slipping like I have no grip he still wrote down like oh you're in the door at you know 630 like what a freaking douche bro you make contact with me at 5.45 and you see me. You opened the door and watched me struggle, bro. Like, why would you do that? Man. Have some, some just blue collar compassion, bro. Like, you see me out here struggling with the weather conditions and the truck's not even getting gripped. It's just sliding and trying to jackknife. You don't even care, bro. Like, come on, man. Brother, break. Nope. Wrote it on the paper. In 6:30. Like, wow. That's why I like I do videos. I got proof I was here before night before. <laughs> ah, it's rolling. Oh, he was here 6:30. Like, what a douche. Just a lot of the time, you just gotta not let that stuff get to you. You know, you just gotta. Gotta go at the job, man. That's all you can do, man. You can tell I've been really just leaning towards just a no nonsense programming. You know, getting to the grassroots of actual, you know, trucker programming, man. Like the grassroots. Work ethic. Why work ethic is important. If you're coming out here, and you don't have the basis of just work ethic, you are screwed. I know people try to make it seem like this is just, oh, you're sitting on the steering wheel, but there's nobody watching you. Your work ethic is gonna determine if you're gonna keep driving in situations that you may not be comfortable with, if you're going to work when you're not feeling like working, 
and deal with the problems that are going to arise. Right now, I'm going down 15 in a snowstorm. Uh, it hit while I was driving, so it is not plowed yet. But on one hand, um, yeah, there's safety. And on the other hand, there is my work ethic. You know, I want to get, I want to get it done. And, and and that is the thing that I really believe separates um, truckers from the just regular old coming to work. You gotta want to get this stuff done. If you don't want to get this stuff done, it will show. You'll have more excuses. And it will show in your paycheck. I've said many times, it's pay as you go. You don't go, you don't get paid. And I know you're looking at this like, man, screw that, I'm not trying to drive in that. And I get it. Stay border ahead. It makes sense. But, um, it's, the work ethic just has to be intact. It's going to show in your school. It's going to show when you get to school. It's going to show when you finally get your own truck. It's going to show in your appointment times. It's going to show how much you're late. It's going to show. There's one thing you can't hide out here is that working. You can't hide. It's something that has to be addressed within you. It's something you have to sit down and, and talk to yourself about and be honest with yourself. Do I have a good work ethic? Am I lazy? That's a good question. That's a real good question. And most people, they don't know. They don't know if they're lazy or not. They, they, what they do is they displace blame. They, 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 it's a whole bunch of other reasons. Well, it's because the snow, I couldn't go. Or it's because the mountain and the snow are. Because they scheduled me late on. Uh, listen, man, you're the captain of the ship. You got to get down the road. And that's what I hope to instill and show people with this. You know, with my videos. You know, I can do what you can do. I'm driving through this. I've learned how to be able to uh, hopefully survive in this. It is possible. It's not some mythical creature of, of a time. There's processes, there's, there's, there's good ideas of what to do. And I learned that nothing that you do should inhibit your growth. It really should. And my thing is, I want to grow in every craft that I do. So, I've ran it a little bit, but I've not to this degree how I'm running it now, where I'm in the mess almost every day. Except for when I go to Cali. I'm in the mess almost every day, so you know, the learning curve is a little bit tighter. But at the same time, I knew what I was going to be getting into when I came up here. And I was willing to do it because I felt, I felt for me, not for anyone else, that it would make me a more well rounded trucker, make me a better trucker. So I, I here. I've learned a lot. Um, I've enjoyed myself. And I can actually say that there's real growth. That's what's important. That's what's important is growing. Learning more stuff. Learning new stuff. Challenging yourself. That's what's important. And, and that's what I'm that's what I'm going to continue to continue to do out here. I gotta go through Idaho next. Um, I don't know if that's a better or worse situation. Definitely see when we get up there. These roads, they, they can be treacherous. The number one rule I always say, and I hope that it sticks with you, slow down. I'm going 39 miles an hour right now. The road looks like it's about to clear up in front of me. I probably can kick it up to 45. But, and I, I don't feel no way about it. You know, I don't let nobody push me. 
I know I should be going fast, and I go as fast as what's comfortable for me. And I don't have anything to prove that dude to the left of you in that skid skateboard. You know, he's probably going 55 miles an hour empty on this. And you know what? He's a brave man. No, I wouldn't be doing that. I'm 77,000 pounds right now. But look at that guy, tailgating on ice. You know, like, you can't make this stuff up. You're, you're a professional driver and you're, you're tailgating a family car on ice. Anything can happen. That's why I say you just gotta have good practices. You got to have good practices. You know, you have to. Because you will be doing that and thinking that's okay. If something happens, they got to have children in there, boom, you smack right into them. You can't stop in this. You slam on your brakes all you want to in this, and you're just gonna slide. You're gonna put the full weight and force onto that family car, and that's an issue. I mean, uh, my channel is the word actual experience be looked at and, and hopefully it's something that can actually, uh, that people actually can apply. Yeah, Idaho's next.
sun going down behind it. Just can't buy it, man.
side of it. I don't see no houses around here. I don't know how they don't put no, no houses out here. Like, it's still. Like, that could be your sunset every day. <laughs> I paid a little out here. But I guess they don't. I guess it must be some reason why they ain't living out here. Someone from Idaho let me know. Uh, I'm on uh, Interstate 20. I'm about to go to that pilot up there on the 84. 